this is definitely the week of fucked backlights. So, this is the machine that we replaced the keyboard on. And he came back today to say that the screen has no light on it. And when I opened it, I'll, I will show you a picture right here of what I saw. And this just made me sad, because the dude spent a good three, five minutes here saying, it, you know, you didn't fix it, fuck shit piss, you guys are blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I kind of get maybe I, may, there's a chance, like a 1% chance that I, I may have forgotten to turn it on. But I sure as shit am not going to miss, like, coffee all over the side of the board. Anyway, let's just get to the point here and the, and the fixing of it. So... The fuse itself was blown, I replaced the fuse, and it still doesn't work. I checked uh, the output, that backlight on the LVDS connector, and I got zero volts. I checked a lot of places, actually, in the, uh, in the entire circuit, and across it... By the way, I set up the new lights today. Yeah, this is... Okay, it's kind of fuck shit, I get it. I, don't have, I couldn't get shelves that were enough at Ikea, they didn't have what I needed, they had two left. And also, this adhesive is kind of dog shit, but it's much better than when this was a stock room for LCD screens that I sold for fucking 5% markup on eBay. And it allows me to keep my complete mess away from the other two technicians who work here who just, who shiver at the idea of being at my table. I'm, I'm a fucking mess, it's just, it's part of who I am. So anyway, uh, going back to this. So, the entirety of the backlight circuit here had nothing, like zero volts across the whole thing. Now, this circuit starts with PP bus SO LCD Bickler power. And so, if there's nothing in this entire thing, the only thing that I can, conclusion I can come to, is that that is dead. So, I scroll down. Now, usually, if everything after that is dead, I don't mean just the output, but everything after the beginning is dead, it's the backlight fuse. So I measured the backlight fuse and I have my 12 volts on both sides. So what the fuck is wrong here? So I decided to follow along again. Use your brain. Don't think about replacing chips and I'm going to replace this fuse and it'll work. I'm going to replace the LVDS connector and it'll work. I'm going to replace the backlight driver and it'll work. No, use your fucking brain and follow along. Because I, I get a lot of messages now saying like, where did you get this chip? I need to replace this chip. I know it's it. And I go, okay, so did you measure anything? And you go, no. Did you try, did you look at it? No, I just know I want to replace this, and I, I facepalm and I move on to the next message. Anyway, so Q9806 opens via this uh, voltage divider network. So I decided to measure the output of it, and I wasn't getting 12 volts on it. And I measured the, the gate voltage, and the gate voltage actually, I, I believe the gate didn't give me shit either. And the input of this transistor didn't give me anything. So after the fuse right here, the 12 volts is supposed to go to the input of this transistor, and then something opens the transistor, the voltage divider network under it opens it, and that voltage divider network under it is triggered by some signals here. But anyway, that's beyond the scope of this. There wasn't even 12 volts on the input of it. I get if it's not opening because the, the gate, I get if it's not opening because it's broken, but even if it opened, there's nothing there. So I decided, to draw a wire from the fuse to the input of this transistor here, which is pin four. And to do that, I used, let's show you here, I went to the uh, section of fucked shit that people have left here for months and years and never gotten back to me. And from one of these machines, I cut out an LVDS cable. You scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Oh my god, I've never been that scared in my life. I cut up the LVDS cable, and from that, I got this little wire. So what I did is I used that wire to go from the fuse, the, the right side of the fuse, by the way. You don't want to go from the beginning of the fuse, because then it'll have, it won't have a chance to blow. So this is where the 12 volts starts in the computer, and on the other side of the fuse is where the 12 volts goes to the backlight. And that goes to the input of this transistor here. Oh, nice. See, and as the guy kind of accused me of never fixing his computer right after he spilled coffee on it again. I don't really know that I give a shit. Anyway, I shouldn't say that, but this is a truthful channel, so he'll forgive me. Anyway.
again. This should be much easier for all of you out there who have much steadier hands than I do. My hand is my hands are pretty much useless. Terrible for soldering and putting any of this stuff back together. Usually in the day when the other people are here. I'll do this, and then I'll hand it to the other guy who is an amazingly fast and good technician, and he will put it back together in something like you know, 90 seconds. It's just it's insane how quickly he puts these things back together while keeping everything exactly where it's supposed to go. It's me forever. Get out of there, you little fuck. Alright. The machine is being a troll. See how it took 20 seconds to turn on there? For no reason, like I hit the power button, you heard the <clears throat> of the shitty optical drive, and then it took 20 seconds to turn on? Do you know why I did that? Because I'm doing a video! That's why I usually don't do these videos in real time as I do the repairs, or while the shit is still open. Because something always, and I mean always, happens that would not happen if the camera were not fucking rolling. Anyways, you can see, backlight, which means I win. And I can charge this person again. And usually while I would do this on the house for somebody who is nice, if they just had something done here, since this person was a douche, I am going to charge some money. And I will enjoy keeping it. Have a nice day.